Period. Okay, BCBG. Y'all BCB doing it. Period. <laughs> Hey gems, it's your girl Mr. Mima and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing a Nordstrom haul. Now, um, y'all know I did some some shopping during the Nordstrom anniversary. So first of all, are you subscribed? If not, you're trying to watch the video and not being subscribed. <laughs> Stop playing with me. If you want to make sure you didn't like the videos, you love it here. Go ahead and subscribe. Stop playing with me. Girl, double check. Make sure you subscribe. Anyways, yeah, so you guys know I've been doing some shopping ever since the Nordstrom anniversary. So actually I was doing shopping before then. It just carried over. Um, and so I have quite a few items here to show you. Now I don't have everything because Little by little, I was taking things out and actually wearing them. <laughs> and um, some of them can't be found. Y'all know I live in a warehouse, okay? Some of them is in the laundry. Some might be some. I don't... I is tired, okay? Now, I done gave y'all all my recommendations in the other video. So, I don't want to hear nothing about it, okay? This is what it is. I shouldn't even say nothing. If y'all ain't say nothing, y'all wouldn't even have known. So, um, anyways, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. I actually got a lot of shoes. Um, but I do have clothes, bags, accessories, all that stuff. So let's just get into it. I'm excited though. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna start off with the clothes. Okay, so let's just. Let's just start with the clothes. So first, oh, <laughs> um, first I purchased this long sleeve, two toned chiffon ish blouse. Is this actually chiffon? Ooh, made in Romania. Okay, this is ASOS design. Come on, ASOS. <laughs> Not ASOS curve at Nordstrom. Period. Um, this is size UK 30 US 26. I always size up when it doesn't stretch and I just really like this color palette, you know uh, Neutrals lightweight breathable um, And cute and I love the length of it. it actually fits pretty well has a little pocket here that I wouldn't actually use it I think it's more so for vibes and I like the way it hangs on the body and it's just it's really cute a chic way to dress up like denim or some shorts or something like that but have like a nice chic edge to it as opposed to wearing like denim shorts and a t-shirt. I could throw this on, maybe a white shirt underneath, a white tank or a white bandeau, something like that. And have that be a nice casual chic fit. I really like her y'all. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit or not. And surprisingly enough, it did like just barely, but it did. Y'all know when I said just barely, it's cause the arms. It's because the arms, but the body of it fits beautifully. It falls beautifully. Um, I tried to wear it different ways to see how I would like it. And y'all know, usually I love to crop a blouse, but with this one, I said, no, this needs to hang down. It, the length is beautiful, perfect for that. I could either tuck in one side or wear it just as is, or just close like one button or wear it open. Like I just, there's a whole bunch of ways that I can wear this. And I definitely think that this was a good purchase. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Would recommend for sure. So next I picked up this white shirt and it has a pretty boxy cut. Looking online, I thought it was gonna be like more cropped, but it's definitely just like a regular t-shirt, just like super wide. Um, and so I don't really love it as is. I would definitely crop this in some way and I've kind of played around with different ways of cropping it to see if I could try like a new way. And I do like it for that. I love the whiteness of the shirt. It is super white. I love the, the weight that's on it. You can tell like this ain't your average shirt. This is ASOS too. Okay, it's giving me, I just need to shop on ASOS. <laughs> um, ASOS design, made in Vietnam. Okay, it's a diversity of countries for me. <laughs> Romania, Vietnam, period. 
Um, but yeah, so super loose. Um, if you are a bit wider on the top, then this is definitely a t-shirt I would go for. I don't really like when t-shirts sit super snug on the body. It's very uncomfortable. I don't think it's flattering unless it's like a woman's cut. But for like a unison, <laughs> unisex, but, <laughs> but for like a unisex, uh, fit, I definitely think it should be looser. So if you do have a big back like me, like yours truly, a shirt like this would actually fit quite well. Um, so yeah, cute, cute. Next. Okay. So next I purchased this, um, set. It wasn't sold together, but I saw the two pieces and I said, clearly these go together. And I picked the brown one. And it says Miha, Meha. What's the brand on this? Miha, the dreamer. Isn't Miha my daughter in Spanish? Mm. But yeah, um, I love the color palette. I love the pop of purple on here. Y'all, when I tell y'all I already had an outfit plans for this, I said I was wearing my purple and pink New Balance. I bought me a little cheap coach purple purse to go with it. Like, I just knew this was gonna be a fit. Baby, this thing is tight on the body, okay? Fitted. <laughs> Skin. <laughs> when I tell y'all she is tight, I feel like I can still finesse it, but not in the way that I thought I was going to. I thought it was gonna be like more tomboyish, androgynous type vibe with the loose shirt. Um, and it's giving bodycon tight, show your entire figure, but in sweats and t-shirt, like, the t-shirt is tight. Like when I tell you, like like I just said, a unisex or men's uh, fit t-shirt, I don't like when it's tight, okay? And baby, she was tight. <laughs> she was tight. But you know, I had a whole look plans for this. I just knew I was gonna do some on the gram. And um, I feel I'm still gonna try and finesse it and see, but yeah. Like brown and purple, it's not really a color combo that I would think to put together. But I actually really like it and I feel like once I really play up the purple, it'll pop even more. So yeah, I haven't actually looked at it next to my sneakers yet. Cause like, what if that's not even a vibe? I'm definitely gonna have to check that out. But um, yeah, I'm actually gonna put this to the side. I think I'm gonna take a picture in this tomorrow. <sighs> like purple blush maybe? Mm. Let me not overdo it with the purple though. Let me not do so much. But yeah, I'm not saying all these shorts was skin tight. Okay, at least it has pockets though. Not that I could fit anything in it. It was that damn tight. <laughs> in a minute, I'm in a, in a minute, i to pump me up. So, <laughs> y'all, let me tell y'all about these pants right here. <clears throat> okay, so these are Spanx. Low key. That makes sense. <laughs> These pants. First of all, why is there no zipper? Like, these are so hard to get on and there's no zipper. So it's not like I can just put it on and zip it to conform to my waist. There's no belt loop. So there's nothing for me to tuck my finger into to help pull it up. Like, literally my forearms hurt from trying to grip nothing like and then i have nails so i can't even like really like dig into it so i'm over here trying to grip with the side of my the trauma the actual trauma and i mean they're cute but i'm just like i don't know if it's that cute to be struggling like that and it means if i wear it out i can't go to the bathroom because baby especially in the public restroom for me to be struggling like that me fighting these pants and maybe accidentally touching the wall, grazing the outside? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I I really wish, first of all, I really wish this like elastic waist went all the way around. But no, I mean, I do wish that, but what I really wish is y'all could at least put some belt loops in this or a, a zip or something. Like y'all make it damn near impossible to put this on. But then I really appreciate the fact that it's actually like high-waisted, so it covers what it needs to cover. And it's a cute color, and I really wanted this because it's hard for me to find like pants like this, like cargo-type material. 
Um, so I'm just like, I, I'm gonna have to force it. It's so hard for me to find pants like this. So hard. <sighs> but it's so hard to put it on, y'all. Like, it's literally a nightmare. And even when I was trying it on for you guys um, in the clip, I had already tried this on before because I was about to go out one day and I was like, let me try this on and see how I can it. And I was like, this is actually a nightmare. And I didn't wear it because I said, who about to be struggling like this all day? But I feel like running a quick errand or something and I want to be cute, I could do this. I just can't wear this when I'm ever going to need to use the bathroom outside. <sighs> but it's too damn difficult. You know what? No, that's doing too much. I'm about to say, maybe I should have this tailored and have to put a zipper in this or something. Something. Ugh. Yeah, that's how these fit. All right, Spanx. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. So, next I got this key. Ooh, not a bean backwards. Oh, not a bean inside out. <laughs> but I literally just recorded the, uh, the try on portion. Um, yeah, so I have this cute little uh, muscle tank Jordan situation. Is this actually Jordan? Oh yeah, it is. Oh wow. Made in Vietnam as well. Oh, this is actually Jordan. Y'all, I thought it just said Jordan. Y'all know. Um, but I really got this because of the color palette, but the fit is actually beautiful. Like I, this is everything I could ever wish for in a top just like this. And they also have it, I think, in black and red. And I thought about getting that, but I was like, Jamil, you really don't need this. As opposed to this, where this color palette stands out more. I don't really have anything like this, so I said, this is worth spending your coin on. But now that I see the fit on the body, yaddy, yaddy, now I'm just like, hey, I should've gotten both. Cause like, this top with some cute, either like boyfriend jeans or some shorts with a red lip. I feel like wearing a red lip with it would make it pop. Like, I know the anniversary sale is over, but like, maybe it's still on sale. <laughs> Yo, what is my life? And y'all, I'm so sad. Y'all remember that Hydro Plus that I didn't get? I so wish I got it now. Like, oh, hold on, y'all. Let me, not me going back to my uh, search history. <laughs> Cause like, I really like this top. If it's under $30, I'm gonna get the black and red one. But like I said, I did buy it during the anniversary sale. So I, yo, I don't know. I feel like every time I do a Nordstrom related video, I always end up back on their website in the video. Y'all are bad influences, like for real. Y'all are terrible. Y'all ever, um, y'all ever buy perfume after smelling it while you're out and we get home, the perfume smell is completely different than you remember? Oh, they do have it. They have two left in the black and red. But it's $45. Like, this is really cute, but I'm not paying $45 for it, honey. Like, I'm just, I'm just not. Like, it's super cute. Not $45 cute, though. Maybe $39. <laughs> but I'm really glad I got this, though. Like, no regrets at all. Oh, it says it right here. I'm slow, 45. How much should I pay for this? Hold on. Yo, those Spanx pants? Cost 128. Wow, that's actually wild. How much should I pay for them? Regular price is 128. That's crazy. For it to not fit? Ah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. So next, I have these BP pants here. Thankfully, this does have a zipper. <laughs> Unfortunately, these pants do not fit. And I'm very sad about it because I actually love this color palette. I really like plaid colors. <laughs> like I feel like one of my vibes is definitely like that nerdy look. 
Um, and so like the plaids and the pants really do it for me. And so I was pretty excited to get these. These are like one of my like highlights of my purchases. Um, and I could definitely, oh, this would have been so pretty. I could definitely play up these like mustardy tan tones in here. I have a couple tops that would have been really cute with this. Oh my gosh. Like the way I could address this up and down, but it doesn't fit like at all, like at all. And it stretches. So I'm very surprised. I like how terribly it fits but with BP it's very much give or take um I never really know how it's going to fit and it is one of the more like cost-effective brands at Nordstrom so it was definitely worth a try anyways but yeah this is definitely going back it's so fortunate because it's such a beautiful print like honestly absolutely stunning mm. too bad so sad so I also have these, is Zella? Yeah, these Zella leggings in this like eggplant purple color. Um, I decided to pick these up because one, people rave about Zella. And two, I don't have any leggings this color. Um, so I feel like this would make a great addition to my legging collection. I actually want to find leggings that don't have as many seams because I want to wear them out more. And I feel like all the leggings that I have look like workout leggings. Like, that's the workout. Why are you wearing this to go to Sephora? Um, so I was kind of hoping that this would have more of a going out look, but this is definitely like gym vibes for sure. So if you guys have any suggestions of where I can find like workout feeling and quality leggings, but without the seams and stuff so I can wear it out or like a night out or something like that. Cause I feel like that is the perfect balance for me. Like the way a good pair of workout leggings will snatch you up, like that uh, Fabletics Power Hold, baby, or even their Motion 365, the way it just like conforms to the body and it feels so lightweight and you can move. Like if I could find that kind of quality, but in a dressy legging, ugh, that would be beautiful that would be perfection but yeah zella leggings fits very well now the closest that i came to for what i described but it's more of a pant um it's actually this vince camuto uh pants here what, is, what do they call this exactly so i've actually worn this out and about y'all have seen this on me this is my second pair because i can never be without this and I feel like every time I wear it I'm like shocked at how great it is <laughs> like the last time I wore these I, I think that was my first time hanging out with Victoria and I was like girl what leggings is this I had her checking the label like what is this these leggings are sitting right these pants are knowing what they need to do honey um and they were Vince Camuto's and I was like what well, I need to wear these more often so baby I went and got a second pair because I could never be without are these pants or leggings? What do these qualify as? I'm not sure. Oh, it has an anniversary sale price on here. So the regular price is $59 and an anniversary price of $38.99. So I said, let me go ahead and get it while it's on sale. Though I would absolutely pay the $59, no questions asked. Like, I, here, take my card. Here, okay, no questions asked. They are so good. They're super opaque. Your panties don't show. Your skin doesn't show. It fits right on the body right on the body okay um and it covers the shelf like it just it's just it's nice it's nice i feel like what i just described before this is probably the closest that i've come to that where this is just like a really good pair of freaking pants i think it's a pont a pont pant a ponte pont a ponte pont But yeah, so I got this in a size 3X, and um, I'll enter the picture of me wearing it out, but yeah, so good, so good, so good, I had to get it twice, so good, so good, so good, oh, come on, Beyonce. Okay, so that's it for the clothes, the clothuses, um... Let's get into the things, honey. So I got this big bazooka of a bag, Kurt Geiger. At this point, my purse collection is half Kurt Geiger. Like, uh, 
I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I love me some Kurt. I never thought I would be like the soft material kind of bag person. Y'all know I like a structured hard bag. But this is just so soft, but it still has shape. And I really got this because, y'all know, I'm really trying to be better about leaving the house more often. Even if it's just going to coffee shop to get some work done, going to Barnes & Noble or going to the library, whatever, just leaving the house more. And so I feel like I need to step up my leave the house bag, okay? So I feel like this bag can fit my laptop, my computer, my phones, everything I need. And it's pretty sizable with a chain uh, handle. So maybe she got that way, okay? She, she can fit it all. And she's cute and stylish, y'all. I have a couple work bags. I really like this collection for me. Like, I really love my tote collection. See, all the more reason why I need to be leaving the house more often. I need to show off these totes, honey. Like, I have a base, a base work bag. I have my Valentino bag. Well, I wouldn't consider my, my Valentino uh, tote bag a work bag. It It's a little more on a fragile... <sighs> I don't want to drag her through the Starbucks and stuff, so that you stay right there, mommy. I have my tote bags from Mirtha. Well, I have one tote bag. I actually ordered a second one, and it's on the way. And um, I have the bag that Kim got me from Target. I have another. Anyways, <laughs> what am I doing? The point is, I'm adding this baby to the collection. I am adding this darling of a bag to that collection and i love that it's black on black there's no gold there's no silver there's nothing so it should go with everything it's literally black on black and i feel like that is so sexy kurt geiger y'all sponsoring uh influencers like i feel like i have 18 of your bags and products including one here and one that's on the way at this point, I'm a Kurt Geiger ambassador. Kurt, are y'all doing sponsorships? Do y'all want to sponsor the channel? Cause I love y'all. Okay, and I just keep buying more and more of your bag. I'm single-handedly keep y'all in business. Like, oh, can you imagine me? Like, just out and about. See, now I need this size, but in like a brown or a cognac or a tan. Do they have that? that would be beautiful like can you imagine me like walking to the um barnes and noble oh, i love it <laughs> but yeah so when i tell y'all i'm single-handedly uh keeping them in business um hello hello darling um i decided to add this beautiful piece to the collection um because first of all a hard bag which means she will be excellent for nights out i don't have to baby her as much um it's double toned well it's triple toned since yeah since it's more like a beigey champagne color here but i basically got this for looks when i want to mix gold and silver um sometimes i'll mix metals and i feel like this would be perfect for that um yeah so look at your kurt and I, I have a black one in my cart right now. Y'all know my business. The point is, I love these on Kurt, okay? So I cannot wait to make space somewhere for these purses, y'all. I don't know what I'm going through right now, but I am collecting so many bags. I just ordered more purses from Amazon. Mind you, I don't have any space on my purse organizer thingy here anymore. Where am I gonna put them? So I feel like I'm going to have to switch up the way I'm organizing my purses and it's not gonna be cute. because so I'm gonna have to start stacking them sideways because there's literally no way. There's literally no way, but I need a bag for every occasion. Like I just do for every occasion and every color. I feel I just need one for at least every color, at least. Cause there's a couple bags already. I'm seeing two, two that could potentially go. But I'm holding on to them because I haven't replaced them with better quality bags in that color. Anyways, we move. <laughs> I love her. Okay, so 
Um, <gasps> Y'all, I think the rest might be shoes, actually. I have like 10 pairs. Pray for me. So, first things first. Y'all know when I like something, I get multiple colors, if not all. So, this one shoe, I got it. <gasps> Is that six colors? No. Chima, you're bugging. Hold on. Um... But y'all know, like, I, I struggle in heels. And so, if I see a pair that I can manage in and looks cute and still dressy and it's not going to get me clowned for wearing kitten heels, I'm going to stick beside them, okay? And so, I mentioned this in my anniversary sale video. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is the bone one, I think. When I told y'all, even through the picture, I said I could tell, like, it just looks juicy and squishy and just like oh my god when when i think of luxury shoes this is what i was thinking of when i heard oh bottegas are so comfortable this is what i thought it was going to feel like y'all the padding in this heel is insane like it's literally like a good half inch of just padding like all this right here okay maybe a quarter of an inch is <laughs> just padding and it's all over now my feet still gonna hurt regardless my feet hurt when I'm sitting down, okay? It's gonna hurt regardless, but baby, this is the most comfortable sandal I have ever seen in my life. And this Sam Edelman, well, I'm not gonna lie. Sam Edelman began the girls together, okay? I have quite a few of his shoes, and I didn't even realize how many of his shoes I had until I did, I think I did a haul last year. I did some kind of shoe haul, and I was like, wait a minute. A lot of these are Sam Edelman. Like, he really understands the struggle foot, okay? And so when I saw these, I said, no. It's cute. It has a modern square toe, the spatula shoe, a decent um, heel, and it's slightly wider at the base. Even though I don't love that look, it's necessary to help keep up these yams, baby. And the, the intricacy and, like, the knotting detail just makes it a little va-va-voom. So I said, baby, let me, let me get these in all the colors. And did and did such a gorgeous shoe so i got it in bone um hold on this is bone or am i making that up vanilla bean where i get bone from so it's in the color vanilla bean hold on y'all i said i wasn't gonna do this but let me just show y'all real quick glances of the color this is black This is black, this is a matte leather, whereas the vanilla bean had a, a sheen to it, a patent gloss to it. Yeah, this is a matte black. The heel does have a uh, gloss on it though, this patent. But man, like that, are you kidding me? Oh my God, do y'all see how my finger is digging it? Like, that's what they mean when they say walking on cloud nine. That is what they mean. Okay, it's giving me memory foam heels. Love to see it. <laughs> Love to feel it. I also got it in citrus orange. This is like a paler orange kind of vibe. It's not really like a regular orange orange. Um, I was hoping this would match my orange like purse, but it doesn't. Hmm. I mean, I could absolutely work with this. I'm trying to think like, what can I accessorize this with? Could this go with that set? Mm, I could probably force it, but what, what bag? I don't think I have a bag that matches this tone. Guess I gotta buy another one. <laughs> I also got it in Citric Acid. Oh my God, y'all see this highlighter yellow? Uh, like I feel like this with just denim and a white top boom automatic look a nice pop of color on the back oh i have an ocean colorful bag that would be cute oh, i have a kurt geiger bag is it this color or is it like a neon green oh, this why do i have all the kurt bags oh my god i have a real problem like i have a problem last but not least I 
I have it in pink carnation. Now what I'm realizing is that none of these colors are really like bright colors. Um, and when I say not bright, I mean like not the bright bold version of the colors. They're more like neon pastels. That's the best way to describe them. Yeah, neon pastels. Um, so yeah, I was really hoping these would be like a real easy like mix and match kind of thing, but I don't think I have anything that matches these purses besides maybe the citric acid. And they're all matte except for vanilla bean. That was the only one that had like a sheen to it. But y'all, I, I cannot wait to wear these. Like look how thick the padding is back here. Like all this right here, juiciness, juiciness, juiciness. Reminds me of someone else I know. Um, I look and want to leave those right there, but I'm walling, right? I really sat here and bought every single color available in this shoe. That's sickening. Sam, y'all sponsoring people too? <laughs> because I love your shoes. And y'all heck of a lot cheaper. I couldn't buy five Bottegas. I could buy five Sam Edelman's though. <laughs> <laughs> all right so these are bcbgs i believe i bought these on sale um keeping up with the kitten theme kitten heel theme um i have these darlings here um i have this white auto bag that i feel like this will pair with beautifully um i have another pair of white heels but they're not they don't really mm. So I'm really happy that I have these. They are lace up uh, with silver hardware and a moderate heel that I could survive in. And you just kind of lace it up. Once again, a modern spatula toe, but I like how this one is slightly angled. I feel like that makes it sexier. And also the spatula isn't super wide. It's pretty slim, which I love, but probably means it's not big foot, wide foot friendly, sorry. Um, actually, I'll take that back because you can adjust this so you might have a little pinky dangling right here but you know this this will secure the little pinky it just might hang out a little on the side but this might this might work for the wide for girls period okay bcbg y'all bcb doing it period but yeah i'm like imagine this laced up around the leg with my JBW silver watch, giving vibes with my little auto bag. And I don't think that has any hardware on it. So just like white on white. Ooh, that's cute. Oh my God. You know what I need to do? I need to sit down, pull out all these different accessories and like style them. And then like, maybe I'll do a video. Like what if I did like a monthly roundup at the end of every month, I'll just take like different pieces or favorite pieces from the halls and create like a lookbook. that I feel like maybe in the past couple of years or so I've started to truly develop my own style um, and I say that because I never really had the option to develop my style and um, I was watching a, 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 was it a reel that Nay posted and she was talking about how, you know, she didn't really have options before. Like when it comes to like clothing and stuff, I mean, it was broader than that, but for me, it's specifically it's clothing. I, I wore what fit. I wore what looked decent because that's all that was available to me. And so now that more and more brands are expanding their clothes and their accessories and stuff to actually fit plus size bodies, I'm like, wait, do I actually have the option of picking between this and this? I can actually pick what I want. I can create looks like in person of what I envision in my head. Like that's wild, y'all. Like I wore cargo-ish pants um, last week. And that was the first time in my life I was able to find a pair that actually fit. 
and it's so wild but it's 2022 and that was my first time wearing like cargo style pants in my life at 31 years old and that probably sounds crazy but that was like it was like a moment for me because i was like yo like first of all the pants were from fashion nova i didn't think it was gonna fit a lot of fashion nova bottoms don't fit me and so you know i just got it just to try it and i put it on and i was like oh my god like this is actually fitting me like it fits y'all i couldn't believe it i i was so shook i couldn't even style it i just threw on a t-shirt and was out the door but i was just like wow like i actually have cargo style pants that fit me that's wild so anyways i say it's to say like i feel like maybe i should do like the monthly roundup and i feel like um, it'll be good for me because, like I said, I'm still cultivating my style. And I feel like some things don't really come naturally to me. I'm very much a planner. I have no issue sitting down and pre-planning outfits. Like, no problem. I will absolutely do that. I love planning stuff. I love putting things together. And I feel like that would be really fun for me. Like, I don't know about y'all. But I'm, like, getting excited thinking about it. Like, ooh, like, let's plan outfits. Oh, my God. Like, I actually think that's gonna be a new like video concept. Like I love that for me. Ooh. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Random impromptu speech that nobody asked for. And was it even relevant to the story or the video? Like how I get here. All right. So I picked up these um, mules. They're a lot chunkier in person than I thought. I keep forgetting, like, Jamima, you wear size 11. Like, if you buy a chunky shoe and your feet is already big, it's only going to appear bigger. And sometimes I mind, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. And I just, I feel like this, I feel like this is a no for me. And it's not that I can't think of a way to wear it. Um, for one, I already have, like, really chunky like sandaly shoes from H&M so I feel like I don't really need this but even if I could like style it it's not something that I would gravitate towards and so I feel like I won't really get the wear out of this this is Sam Edelman um and you could tell by the comfort um yeah but this isn't something that I would gravitate towards you know oh that's cute it's that circus underneath it that's really cute so unfortunately this is going to be a pair that's going to go back but um I mean, I see the vibes, I see the aesthetics. It's just not for me. Y'all, the way I will wait um, until I'm filming to uh, open a lot of these packages, like these past couple of hauls, I really cheated and would pull a couple things out the bags because usually I won't at all. But um, I, I, I've been waiting too long, y'all. Like, I, some of these pieces I ordered before the anniversary sale, but then I was like, let me wait until I get more things and then I'll show you together. Um, did I buy more white shoes? Who do I think I can? I don't ever wear white like that. Um, so I bought two Jeffrey Campbell heels, and I really be risking it all because who, what in the skinny, who in the lightweight do I think I am? Like, girl, you a big body bands, and you want to buy shoes that depends on, um. On this little piece to hold up your entire body yeah so i'm not gonna lie i am terrified of these shoes i did try on this pair oh yeah as you can see the bottom's a little dirty i did try on this pair and it does bend a little bit like right now i could i couldn't even like wow i'm a big bitch <laughs> i literally cannot even get it to oh my god whoo but when I stand on it, it, yeah, it got a little lean to it. <laughs> Baby, it got a little lean when I stand on it. So I was like, I don't want to lean with it. And then when I'm walking, it's going to rock with it. <laughs> like, I don't want to lean with it. And then when I'm walking, it's going to rock with it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, how embarrassing would that be if I was walking and this snapped and I busted my ass? And I feel like there's a good probability of that happening. But these are so fire, I'm finna risk it all. And so I was like, dang, I went on the website to see if they had a weight capacity. But I'm like, 
Shoes don't never have no weight capacity. Baby, it's vibes. Either you make it or you don't. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a shoe that I would wear um, when I'm going out with valet parking and the table is right near the damn entrance, okay? Like literally, and then I'm walking on the balls of my feet. This is nothing but vibes. Like if I have to walk from the parking lot to the entrance, I can't wear these. I, I'm just, I can't, like I can't, but they're so cute. Like, hello, hello. I absolutely needed this. And I got it in white and silver. Like, I use them, I use them. You know what I'm realizing? White and silver is paired together a lot. And I wonder if white and gold would look tacky. Like, cause I could see it kind of leaning that way now that I'm looking at it together. Anyways, random thought, but yeah. So, ciao. This is my third Jeffrey Campbell heel, just like this. I haven't worn a single one of them out yet cause I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> but they're so cute. Oh, I want to go on a date, like a dressy date. <sighs> Somebody make these men's act right so I can be treated and wear heels and go out. First of all, the only men that like me are 4'11". I can't even wear heels. <laughs> oh. I hate this for me. Next, we have these sneaks here. And I like to buy shoes like this. Oh, these are bigger than I thought too. Oh, well, these are flayed. I don't think I pay attention to the material. Um, I don't know. I don't think these are, are okay. So I like to buy um, slip on shoes like this to go out with like nightlife. Um, If it's like a chill situation and I want to be comfortable because I know I'm going to be shaking my ass, I need a, a comfortable sneaker, but I don't want to wear a sneaker sneaker. And I feel like this is a nice in-between. Like one of my favorite ones to wear right now is, is actually a leather situation with a, a white platform. And I wanted to get like a brownie tan one to broaden my options of outfits. I mean, no, I always wear black anyway, so did I really need this? Well, that and the fact that this is suede. So people stepping on your shoes drinks falling it's not it's not gonna be pretty and it's not gonna last so that's unfortunate because that's really the only time i'll wear this like i'm not really planning on wearing this out it has a good cushioning in it too these are uggs has a little support right here for the achilles heel i don't know if that's actually gonna be comfortable or not but i feel like they put it there to be comfortable i mean it's ugg <laughs> what they bought ugg they're gonna give you comfort but yeah Mm, I actually think this might go back. Mm. Flayed! 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 <laughs> Jamaica's be light. Okay. So, next we have these Chinese laundry heels. Please look how I actually work. Okay, so I actually got these because I have the black pair that I purchased like maybe two. Wow! No, I purchased them more than two years ago. <gasps> I've had the black pair for years. Cause I wore them when I went, where did we go? I've had them for like maybe four years. That's wild. Um, yeah, so I, when I saw these, I was like, oh, let me grab these because that black pair is super comfortable. And they were actually the only shoes that I could wear out and somewhat last for like two hours. And when I say last for two hours, it was painful, but I made it. Um, and so that was the only heel that I really could wear out. Um, so I said, baby, if that's the only thing I could wear out, let me get the cream version once again so I can broaden my my clothing options. Um, Cause I can't, I can't get away with wearing sneakers every, every time I go out. Sometimes it's gonna have to be a heel and I wanna dance, you know? I mean, it's like what, a three and a half, maybe four inch heel, platform is an inch and a half ish. You do the math, girl. I'm literally walking on a kitten heel, okay? But yeah, Chinese laundry. And dang, Octavia just posted a video where she linked a Steve Madden heel that's pretty similar, but I feel like the heel was taller. I think the Steve Madden was five inches with an, a 1.5 inch platform. And I was like, dang, like low key, I want them. But I knew I had these, so I was like, mm, 
what should I do? So I'm debating if I should keep these and get the Steve Madden's or just chill and stay with these. So this next one I picked specifically for the same reason I got the tan ones, just to throw on and head out the dough. Um, and I I thought this would be a cute like meal situation, but I'm like, in what circumstance would the back of my foot ever look good in some leggings or something? Like if this was a full shoe, I feel like I would definitely love this, especially because it does have that more leathery type look, which dresses up the sneaker a little bit. But the fact that it's a sandal, the fact that it's a sandal though, Jeremy you thought you was doing something. You thought you ate. You thought you ate, huh? And didn't. And didn't. Um, this is one of the, the shoes that I actually tried this on one night. Um, just to see if I could, I, could, I could wear it, you know? I had all these clothes. I had all these shoes so that not Y'all, this thing is so clutch. <laughs> like it's in every video. But, um, yeah. I was like, oh, let me just toss it on real quick and then I'll put it back for the video. It didn't give. <gasps> this has to go back, huh? Dang. That's three things that's going back. Dang. Dang. So next I've got these snakes and I want them because they were pink. Hello, new person, new to me, my new year. Wow, the light, there we go. Yeah, so um, they're super chunks as well. As you can see, this is the shoe right here and all this is just extra. But it's a sneaker, so I feel like it's, I mean, it's okay. Hello, can we adjust? Come back to me, come back to me. Thank you. Yeah, so you know, I feel like it looks huge, but you know, it is what it is. I'm still cool with it. Vibes, vibes, vibes. I feel like it gives a character, you know? I maybe look like LeBron, but character. And last, but most certainly not least, I got these babies here, y'all. Y'all remember I said I was selling my red Hirachis because I bought them too small? Like they fit in the moment, but then as you wear it throughout the day, because it's like right there on the edge of my foot, it starts to hurt. And so I decided to get the black ones and size up and baby, they are gorgeous. And I have been on the hunt for the red ones. They did not come back this year. Like homeboy from Detail Law told me it was gonna come back in the summer and didn't. And now I'm so upset that I didn't go back and get them when I had the chance. Cause they were so beautiful. I really love those red Hirachis and I really wish they'd come back. I really want some red Hirachis and I'm not paying a markup. I'm not, okay? But I was able to get my hands on the black ones and they're super cute. I really wanted a nice pair of all black uh, sneaker. And I mean all black, I don't want a white sole, a white nothing, black. Blackly black, 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 okay? And they, this delivered delivered i love the different textures the tones the like satiny cloth against the leather like it's just everything does it's, it's just it's wet king okay the nike emblem on the back like it's just and it's comfortable like it's just she's just that girl like she is y'all is she a sneakerhead now like is she a sneakerhead Mm. but that is it for today's video i thoroughly enjoyed showing you my goodies um i'm sorry it took me so long to show you guys but i'm so glad that i can put everything away now um i can start wearing them for real first of all let me make some plans because i have five pairs of the same heels i need five different dates <laughs> i need five different outings okay Me and my kitten heels, we're gonna be outside for the rest of summer and all fall long. Okay? Me and my lean with it, rock with it, Jeffrey Campbell's gonna be outside. Y'all gonna meet me or and all. What's the hug? Anyways, I'm gonna let y'all go. But I enjoyed spending time with y'all though. This was fun. I really enjoyed filming this video with y'all. Stop looking at me here. Be nervous. Oh my God. Look at me in my eye. Make me blush. All right, y'all. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have all the links for everything down below. We finna be twins, okay? Get you a pair or two.
you welcome i'll see y'all the next one toodles <laughs> i'm dead